Lesson one hundred thirty eight. Formal speech and possessive adjectives. Lisa, in the past couple of lessons, we've been talking about the verbs that we use for this formal speech in German that involves the third person plural forms. But it's not limited to just verbs and pronouns. We've also got to deal with adjectives, right? Yes, the possessive adjective. So actually, you or our listeners, I mean, might remember that the possessive adjective for she, sie, or for they, also sie in German, is ihr. And again, for this sie, the formal sie, we also have ihr as the possessive adjective. Just this time, you want to capitalize it. That way, you will see that it is the formal one. So the capitalization of this adjective is a big clue that it's being used in formal speech. Yes. Otherwise, the forms in the chart should look very familiar to you. So there's no difference there. So this word, which would ordinarily mean there, that is third person, we're borrowing it and using it as second person to keep up this formal manner of speech. Mm-hmm. And Lisa, whether or not "ia" is capitalized can really change the meaning of the sentence. It can change who is being referred to, right? Right. So you see that while in the example sentences, in the first example sentence, you have Herr Jones, haben Sie ihr Geld, which both Sie and ihr capitalized. So we know it's formal and we know both of them refer back to Herr Jones. Whereas in the second example, Herr Jones, haben Sie ihr Geld? Sie is capitalized, but ihr is not. So we know Sie refers back to Herr Jones. However, ihr, we're not sure who it refers back to. It does not refer back to Herr Jones, because then it would be capitalized. So it could be either her money, or it could be their money. And by the way, this raises another issue. What if you were not reading this? What if you were just hearing it? Here in a written format, we can see which words are capitalized and which ones are not. But if you're just having a conversation with someone, the words don't appear in midair. When you're talking to someone, there's no subtitles under the person showing the text of it. How would you process this if you're just hearing it and you can't see which words are capitalized and which ones aren't. So in a conversation, we would probably talk about the money first, right? So let's say Maria cannot find her money. Herr Jones, do you have her money? And that way, even in German with the ear, it is clear that we're talking about Maria's money still. So it's really because here we are isolating the sentence to look at it closely and look at the different forms and analyze them, that you don't have this context, but in a conversation you will have enough context to clue you in. And this is a story we keep telling over and over, is that the context of how words are used will often tell you what they mean. So context, context, context. Exactly. Okay. And also context. <laughs>